Hi everyone, uh, you may remember back in November um, there was the Unity Reform Commission of which Naomi Konst was, uh, was on and she made a very passionate uh, statement where she ended up swearing and apologising for it and reform in the Democratic Party was top of the agenda and I remember Tom Perez actually wrote this on Medium at the time to dispel any worries that the DNC was going to keep rigging their primaries and it was called making 2020 transparent so in the article it says this I am more committed than ever before to restoring voters faith in our democratic process because even the perception of input impartiality or an unfair advantage undermines our ability to win that is unacceptable. To that end, the new DNC under my leadership is committed to the task of making sure that our 2020 nominating process will be unquestionably fair and transparent, and all the people I've brought on board since taking over as chair are working according to the following principles. We believe that only, th uh, only through uh, only through trans I think that means thorough tra transparency and account accountability can we re rebuild the trust we need to win elections. We believe that it's crucial to build an infrastructure that supports all candidates and helps Democrats win. We believe that a party must listen if it seeks to lead. We believe in principles of equal opportunity for the American people and for our candidates in our party elections. Now it goes on a little bit more and it's important that I say, uh, I say this because of what's come to light recently. He goes on to say, of course, as any leader knows, principles only matter when they inform and inspire action. After listening to Democrats from every wing of our, our party, I've developed a series of concrete reforms to put our principles into action and guarantee that under my watch, the new DNC will work and rebuild trust with the people we represent. These principles are, number one, to ensure that no candidate participating in our presidential nominating process gains any unfair advantage, real or perceived, during our primary season. We will decide the debate schedule in advance instead of negotiating it after all our candidates have entered the race. Now I'll leave a link to this whole article down below because something has kind of come to light that proves that they may be wanting to do that for the 2020 election but they're not doing it for 2018. It doesn't affect the 2018 primaries whatsoever. Tom Perez is bullshitting you, quite honest, because of this. Who's in the intercept? This is Glenn Greenwald on Twitter. A secret recording obtained by our great reporter Lee Fang, or Lee Fong, is it, shows how Steny Hoyer, Democrat, tried to strong arm a progressive candidate out of a winnable race to make room for a corporate lawyer. Here's the audio. Take a listen. You would like me to get out of the race. You keep saying I would like you to get out. And of course that's, that's correct. Yeah. I know you're fundraising for Crow. Yeah. You know? I'm for Crow. I am for Crow because a judgment was made very early on. And it just made the decision. So your position is a decision was made you know, very early on, before voters had a say, that's fine because that's the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District, and we should line up behind that candidate. That's certainly a consequence of our decision. There are two things I'd like you to consider. One may be easier than that. The first would be if you stay in the race. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I would hope you would not. I'll get to it. But if you stay in place, it is not useful to the objective to tear down Crow. Mm -hmm. Crow is clearly the favorite. That doesn't mean you win. It just means he's the favorite. I hear you. That doesn't mean it's right. It just means no. no, I hear you. Right. I don't know Crow well, but I think he's a decent human being. So before we, before we go any further on that, Crow is the favorite, N in no small part, Congressman Hoyer, because the DCCC not only put its finger on the scale, but started jumping on the scale very early on. And I'm born and raised a Democrat. I mean, it's undemocratic to have a small elite select someone and then try to rig the primary against the other people running. And that is, that is basically what's been happening. 
I hear you, and I disagree. But you were part of that process Absolutely. as well. You said after. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I've been at this a long time. Yeah. Uh, when I said you need to get in strong, hard, and early, you disagree with me. You know, obviously, that's your choice. And you guys are shoveling money at him. I'm going to continue. You're going to continue to do it? We are going to continue to do it. And the reason why we're going to do it is because a decision was made to focus. It was clear that was our policy and our hope that we could early on try to come to an agreement on a candidate that we thought could win the judgment. Mm -hmm. And to give that candidate all the help we could give them so that we would have a unified effort going into a general election. Which, which means, effectively, Congressman Hoyer, I'm running a campaign against Crow and against you and against the DCCC because you guys are on Crow's side. Yeah. You know, frankly, that happens in life all the time. And there you go. 100% proof that the DNC are actively, actively pushing for their own corporate candidates rather than having a free and fair primary. They're actively doing it. That's proof. Tom Perez is lying to you. Did you know that the D in DNC and the D in DCCC both stand for Democratic? It's amazing, isn't it? The, they are democratic in the same way that North Korea is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They are democratic in the same way that Congo is the Democratic Republic of Congo. They're rigging their own elections. They're not democratic at all. They don't want free and fair elections. Alison Hartson and David Hildebrand the establishment aren't even putting them on, on, the, on the polling. They're not even putting them on the polling. I'm pretty sure the Democrat, the DCCC and DNC are going to have something to do with that. I am 100% sure of it. I can't provide any evidence of it, but you know what? There must be. They must be, so they won't be in any debates, if there are any debates. Stephen Jaffe, for instance, in his primary against Nancy Pelosi, they said, oh, you need to get so many signatures uh, out of our, all of our delegates uh, for us not to endorse Nancy Pelosi. He got the number of signatures that he was supposed to get. And they said, oh, no, no, you need more than that. And went and endorsed Nancy Pelosi regardless. Laura Mosa, in her primary in Texas, the DNC and DCCC did an active smear campaign against her. That is totally against the, their rules. They don't care. Now, I've always been for one to say, yes, okay, try and reform the DNC from within, support the candidate, support the candidate. And I am now thinking, you know what, stuff them, stuff the DNC. I honestly think you shouldn't even be bothered with a democratic primary at the moment because they're just going to stack the de deck against you. Alison Hartson is... A progressive's wet dream in California, she really is. And I don't think she's even going to make it into the top two because they are stacking the deck against her so she doesn't even get to the primary itself. She doesn't even get the chance in November to be representative. She won't be in the top two. It'll be Kevin DeLeon, a fake progressive, and Diane Feinstein. And we all know how bad she is. They're just rigging it. Screw the Democrats. Seriously. Look at what they're doing with this stupid lawsuit with Russia and Trump and WikiLeaks. It's pathetic. They have no values. None whatsoever. The only reason they've done this is because they're in financial trouble and they need some and they need money. So they've said, oh, we need money for this lawsuit. And they're going to get their rich donors to, to give them money. Because the rich liberal elite are the only people, really, who believe this Russiagate nonsense now. They don't even believe in, believe in a free press. How can you believe in a free and fair press and then try and sue WikiLeaks for legally exposing you as frauds and liars? They don't stand for anything. And Tom Perez is a fucking liar. 
He, it's, a, it's I can see it from eight thousand miles away. He is lying to you. He is gaslighting you, and he is not to be trusted. And neither is the DNC. They are going to continue rigging their primaries all year, and then they'll maybe flip the house and send it in November and say, "Oh, look how wonderful we are." And then they're going to do exactly the same thing in 2020. They are not going to reform. You cannot. You cannot vote your way out of a rigged election and that is what the dnc primaries are the dnc have been rigging their own elections since the 1940s i've brought this up before they are going to continue doing it don't bother running in their primaries now that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking tim canova's got it right What's the point in even trying to run in a primary if you know it's going to be rigged and the, and the deck is going to stack, be stacked against you? Run as an independent or run as third party. Because I think people in America have woken up. I think people in America, a lot of them, have woken up to the fact that both of these political parties, they're not representing any of you. They're not representing the people. And this is why so many people in, in America have just tuned out of the whole process. It's time to fight back. And you are not going to fight back from within the DNC. They are corrupt and they are liars. And Tom Perez, you should be ashamed of yourself. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. Please click the bell. Otherwise, you won't see any more videos of mine. And also, thanks to my patrons. Because I found out today, not just my patrons, but thanks to also the people who send me uh, one-off money on PayPal and also the people who share my videos. Because I found out today that YouTube have extended the period to um, check for channels to see if they comply with the rules for monetization. They did say originally it was going to be February. They extended that to the end of April. We're now at the end of April and now they've now said it's going to be the end of June before all the channels it's going to be the minimum the end of june now before i'm accepted for monetization on youtube if so the only money i make now is from you people the only money that's it i rely totally 100 percent on your support and i don't think any time this year maybe i'm going to be approved for monetization on youtube so if you can spare a few dollars a month to you know the cost of a coffee or a beer to send me it on Patreon or a one-off on um, on PayPal if you can afford it. If not, sharing my videos as wide as you can is just as supportive. So thanks very much if you can do that. And screw the Democrats. Seriously, just screw them. They are not on your side. They are corrupt and they are liars. Until next time, peace and take care.